When two black holes collide into each other, they cause ripples in the fabric of space and time to propagate through the universe like waves on the ocean. Fittingly enough, these are known as gravitational waves, and they were first detected from two black holes that merged into one bigger black hole about 1.3 billion years ago. In 1915, a member of the human race devised a theory that predicted their existence, and almost exactly 100 years later in 2015, those gravitational waves rushed through Earth and got recorded by the most sensitive measuring devices ever constructed. So just how energetic was this black hole collision? Well, we all know of Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, which essentially tells us that mass and energy are manifestations of the same thing. Mass is just a very concentrated form of energy. To give you an idea of how much energy is contained within mass, the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945 only converted about half a gram of mass into pure energy upon detonation. That's about the mass of a butterfly, which was enough to devastate a city. The black holes that collided were 29 times the mass of the sun and 36 times the mass of the sun respectively. However, their combined mass was only 62 solar masses instead of 65. Why? Because three suns worth of mass was converted into pure energy in the form of the cosmic tsunami they generated. In the final tenth of a second of their orbits and eventual collision, these black holes generated 50 times more energy than ever every star, in every galaxy, in the observable universe combined. Reality is truly stranger than fiction.